Today I'm going to install Norton Commander inside an MS-DOS virtual machine. So uh, previously I've shown you how to create a virtual machine using uh, Oracle VirtualBox and install MS-DOS 6.22 uh, inside the virtual machine. Uh, so today uh, I'm uh, uh, I've already searched for uh, Norton Commander on the archive.org website. Uh, you, you can see there are multiple versions here. I'm using uh, this one, which says Norton Commander 5.0 IBM PC floppy image. So I have it here. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, there are a number of download options. I'm going to download this uh, 7-zip uh, file. Uh, this is actually an uh, archive that uh, must be extracted using 7-zip uh, program. So if you don't have that program, uh, you should download it and I've already downloaded it here and I've extracted uh, the archive in this folder. So uh, what it contains, it contains three files uh, numbered uh, NC5, one of three, two of three, three of three. So I'm guessing uh, this will be the first image, uh, second and third. Uh, the file extension is IMA, uh, but looking at the file size, uh, it's clearly a floppy disk image. So now I'm going to the Oracle VirtualBox Manager. I have here the MS-DOS 622 virtual machine from last time. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, and uh, we wait a bit for the virtual machine to be powered up. Okay. And it's starting. I'm going to uh, maximize the window. I'm going to hide uh, this one. So it started. Uh, as last time, if uh, we run Deer here, we see it's uh, just the freshly installed uh, MS-DOS. So uh, again, pressing uh, the right control releases my mouse. I'm going back to the VirtualBox Manager. Uh, I'm going to click on Settings, uh, Storage, uh, Floppy. Uh, it's currently empty. There is no uh, floppy image mounted. Then here, choose a disk file. Uh, as I said, I already extracted the archive. I have the three images here, so I'm going to select the first one. Okay. Now, uh, going back to the virtual machine. Uh, obviously, uh, there is no automated install like in Windows. Instead, uh, we have to manually uh, go to the floppy disk. So I'm going to type A. Uh, now let's see what's on the A drive. Okay. Uh, so there is an uh, install.exe file. Uh, I'm guessing uh, we should execute this one. Okay. So let's see. Uh, we can install uh, for color displays, we can install for monochrome displays, for grayscale displays, uh, and we can use uh, the arrow keys to switch between the options. Currently, uh, color is selected, and uh, I'm going to use this one. Okay, the installation program copies the Noto Commander from the installation diskettes to the directory you choose on your hard disk. The installation program allows you to modify your config sys and auto exec but files to make full use of Noto Commander. You may skip any step along the way. You may cancel the installation at any time. Uh, okay, continue. 
so we can do a full install which installs the entire product and automatically configures your system five megabytes of disk space is required uh, or a custom install allows you to select what is installed and customize your configuration or uh, we can abort the installation so i'm going to do a full install so it asks for a location uh, cmc that's okay and uh, it already copied all the files from uh, the first uh, floppy disk image and now it says place disk 2 in drive a so uh, again pressing the right control releases my mouse from the virtual machine uh, i'm I'm going to the virtual box manager, press settings, storage, uh, select the second image. Okay. Now going back to the virtual machine, uh, press continue. Uh, again, uh, very fast, it copied all the files from uh, second disk. So again, Going here, storage, choose a disk file, and the last one. Okay. So we can now reboot uh, your computer and put uh, any change mixture to a sec and config this pass to effect or uh we can go to program and this is the option that's uh, selected so it exits install and automatically starts norton commander so uh, let's try and see what happens okay so uh, norton commander started yeah we are uh, here in the uh, nc folder we can go back up uh so in uh, uh, not on commander uh, we can use the f9 and this will open the menu currently uh, we only have uh, this right window there is no left window being shown i'm going to press left and uh, press brief okay so now we have two windows we can uh, use for example f5 to copy files between the windows and uh, what I wanted to see is what uh, it has uh, done to auto exec but so it didn't actually do uh, anything here and to config sys yeah I don't see anything changed so anyway uh, pressing F10 will quit auto commander yes uh so now uh, again i'm going to press the right control uh, go to virtual box manager uh, settings uh, we still have a floppy image mounted here so it's always a good idea to remove uh, the disk from virtual drive when you finished with it otherwise when you reboot the machine it may try to boot from the floppy disk so okay and also from um, the virtual machine menu i'm going to reset it okay so ms dos has started so now if i want to start uh not on commander uh, you should do something like c nc nc okay and this starts uh not on commander for us okay so i hope you enjoy this and i hope you will enjoy uh, working with uh not on commander so don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time for more videos bye